Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in today's video is about how to draw, engrave, and even a cut a city map out very easily. Uh, the good folks of Epilogue have a uh, YouTube channel, and I'm just copying their video. I'm, I'm changing a few things. I'm shortening it up a little bit, but I'm going over the highlight part, and I just thought I'd put it on my channel since I've got a pretty big following right now. But you go to snazzymaps.com and go to Map Builder, and this scene, this this is going to come up, and you go choose a style, and you type in the word epilogue. And the good people at epilogue, for some reason, is not working. I'm going to retype it. And what it does, it it is done by Benjamin at Epilogue, I'm thinking, and you just hit Thin Maps, and then hit Apply Style. Then you need to go to Size and Location, and he suggests Percentage, and go to 100%, and then check your lo find your location, and we're going to type in Austin, Texas, and there it is. Now you can zoom in and out. And I'm going to kind of leave it like right there. And I'm going to go down. And I'm, he says, suggest put the zoom on 13. I'm going to apply the changes. Now I'm going to take away this window. So I've got a full zoom. And I'm going to go to a Windows-based uh, snipping tool. And I'm going to hit New. And when you do new, you're going to have a little cursor and just cursor over your city and then save it. File, save as a PNG file. I'm going to go Austin and I've already got one, but I'm going to just save it on top of it. Get out of that window, go into Corel Draw. Let's get rid of this city. And go up to File, Import, and type in Austin. There's our file. Import it. Now go to Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace, Line Art. And I'm going 100% with his suggestions. Change your detail to 100. Check all of these. Every one of these, delete original, remove background. I'm going to specify color. I'm going to get the eyedropper tool. I'm just going to click on a white. And then it removed it. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now, there is some trash. And I'm going to go to ungroup. I'm going to click on a black part of the map, and I'm going to move it over. And here's all your trash. And it, it does it. I'm hitting delete. There's still some trash there. Bring your bring your uh, map back in and just kind of look at it. And there's still some trash that you'd have to clean up, but it's a very good start. And this particular one did not come out all that good. But you could play around with it. It's, it's a lot quite quicker than doing it any other way I found and there's ways to you know mark locations put a marker and maybe when I get a little bit more familiar with it um, I'll uh, do another video on it matter of fact I think he did say check that but anyway play around with that snazzy maps.com. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.